All right, hi. So I'm also an artist, and um, I just wanted to give everybody a little bit of information on plaster art. So there's no good things out there to give example with. So this is plaster by DAP. Um, plaster and patch. This is kind of like um, a foam kind of feeling. Um, I've also used over here. This is more of um, a hard plaster, and this right here is actually um, a compound. It's the all-purpose compound. I use this on the stuff that looks a little darker. So that's all-purpose compound. And then I used for the white stuff this the patch dap. So this dap I like better than what I'm using because it's easier to stick to the wall, but that's okay. So I'll give you guys all a bunch of information. So I'll give you guys uh, the lowdown on what I'm doing. So I have over here a bunch of um, trees and bushes, and then this is a tree and it's gonna kind of fade out. So I'm not gonna do too much two dimensional things over here. But then over here I have like, um, these are vines and then these little things are gonna be a bunch of flowers. So over here, you see flowers, flowers, flowers. And I just wanted to give you guys kind of a little bit of uh, information. So this is my little mermaid. She's hanging out. And it's her tail. And this is all going to be water. And then this is the moon. And this is all just going to be foliage above her with um, flowers and leaves and things. And then these are rocks under her. And then down here I have flowers and flowers. And I'm gonna put some more flowers over here. Then over here I have uh, some like uh, rocks and like down in here, this is a crab that I'm gonna make. And then I'm probably gonna come over here and put a couple like lizards and frogs in the trees, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a down low on how to use plaster for painting and art. I'm gonna just kind of set this up. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So. This plaster does not just stick to the wall. Like it doesn't just easily stick. Let's see, let's get a ball going. Okay, that's just kind of a ball of plaster. See, ball, you don't just, like if you whap it, it'll probably stick. Okay, but it comes off pretty easy and there's nothing on it. So what I do is I'll take a little bit of that plaster and let's just say I'll put it right here. So I'm starting a row of I'll start a row of um, flowers, okay, so I'll put the flowers and I'll just put it on with a spackle, spackle brush kind of thing, whatever this thing is called. <laughs> okay. So this whole wall is going to get painted. So this is like the bones of the project. So the bones, we're going to get covered up with muscles and tissue and stuff like that. So right now, it doesn't really matter what the vines look like because on top of the vines, we're gonna put a bunch of flowers and things. So right here. All right, so now these will stay. And then you just kind of shape them a little bit, not a lot. You can just put them in balls. That's what I've done over here a lot. So once you get them into just little balls and put them up here, you can put them in all different kinds of formations. However you think a vine should be with trees, you know, whatever you think is right. Every person has a different artistic ability. And uh, this is my first time doing a big wall piece. So... I'm just kind of, this is my first time doing all this. I've done plaster on little paintings on canvas, but nothing big like this. So I hope I don't mess up. <laughs> okay, so gonna keep on going. Keep on sticking. And then the thing is, is that once your hand gets all covered in plaster, you're not going to be able to make balls as easy anymore. So you want to keep, you know, pretty, pretty good hands. And then you can get small ones and big ones. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Huh. That's on the Lion King, just in case you guys think I'm crazy. I am.
And you can fast forward if you want because I'll be doing more things later. So, you know, just watch where I'm at. Fast forward to where you want to be. Sometimes if it gets a little sticky, you just might need to reapply some of that base glue, that's what I call it. Put the glue on, make it all nice and wet again. Because I mean like the fan is on so it totally could have dried up a little bit. This is really fast drying putty, plaster. See how that stuck right to it once I reapplied that plaster base, the glue. I mean, like, these are flowers, so they can be all over the place. Okay. They can be big and little. But just remember, if it's not going to be on the vine, you need to take a little bit of that sticky, the glue, that extra compound stuff, just make your wall a little sticky and put it over there. Don't try to shape it too much right now because it's still really wet. So I'll show you some leaves. So you see, I got some leaves over here. I'll just do this. So this is my leafy area. Okay. Probably don't need that much. These leaves take a little minute. So you're not going to make a ball, but you're going to make kind of a just a cylindrical, you know, long and skinny, pipe-ish kind of thing. And then you're going to flatten it out and kind of make the tips a little bit more pointed. And then you're just going to put it on in there. Put it down. Make it where you want it. Okay. Same thing. Make sure, you see how my hand is white? It doesn't want to stick. So it goes here, and then it rolls. It kind of works, but not that great. So remember, the more you have a white hand, the less it's going to work. Wipe off your hand. Get some more stuff on there. And you can take this off. And remember, if you're going to paint this, then you don't have to worry so much about the background. It's white it's gonna maybe be another color anyways I might put other layers of um, jungle and vine behind these leaves so ultimately there might be like a bunch of different leaves up there you never know I would normally have music on, but I have my phone recording. So just remember that the more you have, you know, your fun involved, the more you're enjoying yourself, the better off you're going to be. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some leaves in here. Because I think that all the flowers should also have some leaves. And I don't have anything next to it. So did you see that? That was sticking to my finger. One that was sticking to the wall. So you guys get that? Alright, so since I've been doing this for a while, I've been letting other things dry. Because when it gets more dry, it gets to the point where you can work it more. Okay, 
leaves. Those are all leaves. So if you have somebody helping you, it's a lot less time. All right, so I'm going to wipe off my fingers, and I'm going to show you by what molding, by, uh, I'm going to show you what molding means and when you want to do it. So you're going to get all this stuff off your fingers. So I have a sheet down. Can you hear it? So when I make a mess, I can just take it all off. Alright, so what I have is like um, ends of like um, brushes and ends of other cool tools. So I like these. And then what I do is these ones have been sitting here for a minute, so they're pretty crispy on the outside. So what I do is I'll take these little instruments, the backs of them, and I'll just kind of wedge them in there, and then I'll start shaping my flowers. And no one comes down to Naples. I don't know if you can hear people on the other side of the, uh, the wall, the other side of the door. But we live in Naples, and nobody comes to visit us. Right now I'm doing a wall in Sebastian. Of fun. So this is, you can see, the start of uh, flowers. Going up. It should probably be aimed down, but whatever. This is like a magical land where there's mermaids. So I don't care what these flowers look like, realistic or not. I think that they'll be beautiful when I'm done. So you just kind of like hold the bottom, kind of like pinch the bottom, and then you just kind of put your the end of whatever you're using down and then push it out to kind of make petals. And remember I said that these are already somewhat dry. I put these on like uh, five minutes ago. Like I said, it's pretty fast drying. You don't want it you're not going to be able to mold it after it's completely dry. So you want to catch it right up in that in-between time period. And it's not that hard. You just kind of keep on pushing on them and see where they are. Work on other things. They don't have to be perfect because flowers aren't perfect. But once you start to, um, once you start to paint, it'll really look a lot more realistic. These ones are a little more wet. That's okay though. Just if you mess up, it's a little harder to come back from. You might have to like completely redo the flower. But sometimes people like them a little bit more wet because you can uh, manipulate the leaves a little bit more.
Okay, it's good to get just a bunch of a bunch of balls on the wall. <laughs> and then uh, let it dry a little bit and then come back a little later. And then start painting. And then start shaping and then painting, sorry. In like space mode. It feels like it's gonna come off. Just kind of wiggle it around. Sometimes that adhesion in the back will do it. Sometimes you just gotta take it off and start new. Okay. Just stick it right back on. Bam. Try to give it a little depth. Try and maybe manipulate it to make it look like the rest. Because it's already kind of dry. But it's not going to be the same because you just made everything wet again. Not bad. We can just start doing those now. So you guys can still kind of see. Actually, I'm gonna bring you over. Ah, oh, my gross hands. Okay. See my little flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. And that's my moon. On my leaves. I'm gonna have little flowers on her head. Let's see, I'm just gonna shape it. So, you know, this is a good way to cover up lines and seams, but 
that's a little bit of information. Um, pretty much any spackle is really good. I really like the spackle that's more like a cream and not like a foam. Um, other than that, sometimes you just really gotta let it dry before you work on it. Um, some the foam plaster, it will come off a little easier in some places. Um, see like that, that's foam, and then versus this, that is all creamy kind of, that's foam, you can tell the difference. So foam, cream, that's more of like a clay, you know? So it just really depends on what you want. And like I said, like this is all gonna look a lot different once it's painted. I'll give you a better picture. Bum bum. So then down here I have one more rock. Over here I have one more rock. Then back here I have like that. That's all land. Like as she's in near, she's looking out at a lagoon. And uh, I'm not going to put any plaster on that because that's going to kind of be background. So all this is just going to be paint and paint and paint. And then all of this is going to be just flowers and flowers and flowers. So I'll try and uh, maybe show a video when I'm done. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on plaster paint and creativity. So just uh, have fun. Work hard.